So now that we've seen how inheritance works in Python, let's move on to a related topic called abstract base classes. There's a fairly common design pattern in programming where you want to provide a base class that defines a template for other classes to inherit from, but with a couple of twists. So first, you don't want consumers of your base class to be able to create instances of the base class itself because it's just intended to be a blueprint. It's just an idea. And you want subclasses to provide concrete implementations of that idea. And then second, you want to enforce the constraint that there are certain methods in the base class that subclasses have to implement. And this is where abstract base classes become really useful. So let's go ahead and open up the abstract underscore start file. Let's imagine that we're building a drawing program that lets the user create different kinds of two-dimensional shapes. And we want the program to be extensible so that new shape types can be added. So you can see here that I've defined a base class called graphic shape, and it has a function called calc area that is currently empty, right? There's no implementation here. And then I have two subclasses, circle and square, both of which inherit from graphic shape. So the scenario here is that we want each shape to inherit from graphic shape. We want to enforce that every shape implements the calc area function, and we want to prevent the graphic shape class itself from being instantiated on its own. Now, if I run the existing code that I have here, you'll see that none of these constraints are currently enforced. So I can instantiate the graphic shape. And if I run this, you'll see that the calc area function returns nothing, right? Because we didn't override that in the subclasses. So to fix this, let's go back to the code. I'm going to use the ABC module from the standard library. So what I'm going to do is from ABC, I'm going to import ABC and I'm going to use abstract method. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is have graphic shape inherit from the ABC base class. And that stands for abstract base class. Then I'm going to use the abstract method decorator to indicate that the calc area function is an abstract method. So this tells Python that there's no implementation in the base class and each subclass has to override this method. So now you'll see if I run this, well, now I get an error from trying to instantiate the graphic shape, right? It says can't instantiate abstract class graphic shape. So let's go ahead and comment that out. All right. And now let's try it again. Now I'm getting another error, right? It says that my subclass didn't override the calc area method. So now I need to fix that too. Let's go back to the code. And so for the circle, I'm going to write def calc area, and that's going to return 3.14, which is pi, right? Times the radius of the circle squared. And then for the square, I'll do the same thing. And that's going to return self.side times self.side. Okay. All right, so now I've satisfied all the conditions. I'm no longer trying to instantiate the graphic shape by itself. And now both of my subclasses override calc area. So let's run this again. And now you can see that everything is working. So abstract base classes can be a very useful tool for enforcing a set of constraints among the consumers of your classes. So it's worth taking the time to experiment with these and understand their benefits.